degree of homelessness, losing your job, losing your apartment, losing family, depression, just kind of these kind of things that make you pull out and not really care anymore. For a while, because of my addiction, I chose to be homeless because it was more convenient. I could go places, do things that I didn't have to answer to anybody. But eventually, you always have to answer to yourself. And for a long time, I didn't want to do that because my addiction was, as I call it, the beast. Wanted one simple thing, more. And I tried to give it everything I could, and I still wanted more. This will be my second night here, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, when I first came yesterday, before I came, um, <clears throat> I was on the bus and I was crying. I've never had to deal with this before. And I have a five-year-old daughter. And it's hard to be away from her. Because we're homeless, it doesn't mean that we're not valuable people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean we don't have skills, mm -hmm. or trees, or gold. Sometimes some of us just, just fell on hard times. Anybody can become homeless. It's how you deal with it when you become homeless, and how you adapt and overcome. I've been here, like I said, in this spot here for three or four years. Every winter I've survived so far, and I, like I said, I've been homeless for 10 or 15 years. It gets cold, I just throw another blanket on the bed, you know, and I got my gloves and my, my knit hat. I don't bother anybody. I keep it to myself. I'm respectable to everybody. So I got laid off, got another job, dropped the job. I ended up losing my last job because of uh, DUI. Our main purpose is to enforce trespassing laws. Essentially, it's not a crime for them to be homeless. However, a lot of problems come from their behavior and lack of motivation to get a job or use the skills they have. We've received some nasty phone calls of, of people saying, you know, I demand you come out here and, and remove these homeless people. I say, well, we'll come out, we'll take a look, but not some jackbooted thugs sent out there to go stomp some homeless people. With, with what we do, we're successful at moving people from one area to another, but we're not so successful in eliminating the problem. We're not getting people from homelessness, from an encampment, into housing. We provide the information as much as we can, but we're, we're not able to do that. Thoreau has a very great statement. He says there's a thousand people hacking away at the branches of evil for every one that strikes at the root. So we try, we do our best to strike at the root rather than just to continually uh, deal with the, the symptoms. We took in families and children because otherwise they, they would have no place to go. Now unfortunately, earlier this year we had to cut back the size of the shelter from about 10 to 15 families down to four or five families. And that was just because of sustainability issues. We didn't have the finances, the church didn't have the finances and the resources to maintain it on that high of a level. It's very expensive to live in this county. And we've had a downturn in the economy, which means that people have lost their jobs, which probably means they lost their homes or they lost their housing or they lost their car. So we're seeing a lot more people homeless now than there were in the past, just from the economics from, of it. I think that people ignore homelessness, like they ignore housing issues and people who you know, can't afford to live. They just kind of turn their back on them because they're busy in their everyday lives and they, you know, if they see somebody panhandling, you know, they don't even look at them. They turn their head away from them so they don't have to look them in the eyes because it's an issue and they don't want to address it. So they would like for someone else to take care of it. This is a very, very typical of a homeless shelter you come across. You need to be at least a tent and some type of structure. This is on the higher end side because it's a little bit fortified. It's actually camouflage, you can tell. Uh, there's extra storage right here. The person's put up. Um, they stored all their you know, additional linens and uh, the blankets, bags, and then they use these tarps to, of course, mm -hmm. keep it out of the water. And we're just a Band-Aid. 
we're just trying to do the best we can with what we have in front of us. We have to use a lot of discretion at work. You know, there's spirit of the law and letter of the law. What's the, uh, the greater good? Um, so we try to use, use really sound judgment, use discretion, and just, you know, temper all that with a little bit of extra compassion if we can. San Jose Police! Let's go, San Jose Police! Come on out! San Jose Police Department! We need to figure Whoa. out what maybe are the root causes of homelessness and how do you help someone get from that stage to where they're living inside and maybe have some work. We're looking always at the big picture and trying to get the government to do what a government's supposed to do, which is take care of the needs of the people. And it seems that in our time, people have forgotten that the, the role of government is not to bail out corporations or become a corporation itself, but rather to take care of the needs of all the people. And that's what America was founded on. Why do we have government if it doesn't take care of the needs of people? Health care, housing, livable wage, people that are undocumented. What's the role of a government? I'm aware that the county is, at least in the last budget cycle, they were uh, in about a 220 million, $240 million deficit, uh, which is an extraordinary gap to have to close. And everything they spend in the county, uh, I'd say at least 80% of their spending, is fo focused on the poor and the working poor. <laughs> so everywhere they cut, the poor get hurt. And so uh, sh should they do more in the abstract? Sure. Can they? I understand the concern by budgetary realities. And we don't want to hand out, we just want to hand out And when people who look at us who have not been homeless, who have not had the worry about where you're going to eat tonight, where you're going to sleep safely tonight, don't get it until you actually experience it and realize that everything's on the line. Your life, just everything, your dreams, your hopes, everything is on the line in your life. I can vouch for that too. And, and you just you get scared. It's still hard to be here, but I have somewhere to stay and sleep. It's a hard place to be, but you just kind of have to deal with it and just make yourself push for something better and I'm, I'm working on it. The critical issue really is creating stability in a homeless person's life. So it means rather than keeping them in that shelter to shelter kind of existence, let's focus on housing first. Rather than spending a lot of money on supportive programs and supportive services, let's simply put as much money as we can into simply getting them a stable uh, roof over their head. And that means um, permanent housing, not shelters. Well, we're going to end it by bringing the community together, getting the people that are involved in it, providing services for the homeless, not just a shelter, but a place to live with services because most of the homeless people uh, have alcohol, drug addictions, and or chronic mental illness. And if you don't help them solve those problems, they can't be productive to where they can hold a job and be able to live in an you know, in the community with the rest of us. So we're going to look for money. We're going to find places where we can house and care for them, find services that will be able to help them with their addictions, if they have any, or health-related problems, and then get them back on the road to recovery. We have to uh, stand up and demand that all homelessness be stopped. Come on, this is America. It's the richest country in the world. This is it. There's incredible wealth in this country. And to accept homelessness in this situation, that's morally twisted. To say it's okay to have homeless people and to do nothing is morally twisted. And we can't accept it. So that's, we, we believe that it's uh, important to be 